Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Martial Art Fitness. Here I am doing some techniques on the heavy bag with brown house, side kicks, front kicks, elbows, knees, um, pull-ups, uppercuts, rich hands, um, to back fist, spinning back fist, elbow strikes, all that you can think of for self-defense purpose. Um, this is a technique, this is my training regimen that I do all the time on my heavy, on the heavy bag. Um, it's a great way to hone your skills. I know I do it in set skill set manner, but if you actually go to an actual martial art class, they will put you in a set skill manner. Uh, and just working up and down the mats or either doing it on the heavy bag as many times as you can and I mean that's what they would do so if you like my videos this will help you to get in shape for your first martial art class or if you just want to get a good quick workout in just follow along and pretty much my take my stuff is pretty much easy um it's not that hard um it's all basic techniques i mean that's all i really do in my videos is basic techniques um my instructor taught me all the basic techniques that i could master due to my ability that i have and um my last technique that i learned from one of my last instructors was a spinning back kick but i'm still working on it to this day um but i got down the spinning hook kick and i got down with the spinning wheel kick but from kung fu but i really haven't really mastered the spinning back kick yet and so i'm still working on it i mean from time to time i mean it's just I just don't really like doing a lot of heel kicking because um, of my feet and everything. I said sometimes my feet won't allow me to do certain kicks a lot. So I try to um, work on the kicks that I can do and just do it to the best of my ability because I mean I do have club feet. I do have... Um, um rods in my back and everything else i mean i am i am physically fit i'm in good shape and but it's just i have club feet and i have rods down my spine um pretty much due to surgery and everything from a long time ago and everything so martial arts has really really helped me to be able to walk and keep on moving forward with life problems you know if everything seems to stress you out just get up and work out do a workout session and instead of just sitting there all day on your phone or playing xbox playing playstation 4 playing playstation 5 whatever it may be that you're playing um just get up and train get up and train and do the things you love doing and and that's the thing, you know, when you're doing martial arts, it keeps you active. You know, you don't have to do push-ups, squats, and all that. You know, yeah, if you do, that's beneficial. Because that gives you strength, inner strength. And it's, it challenges your mental tough, toughness when you do all the other exercises. But if you're just working on skill, then you're just honing your skill. You know, if you do both, if you do... Um, skill and conditioning you're honing your strength you're holding your techniques plus and if you do weightlifting on top of it you're holding your outer strength to be able to maintain those skills that you need for your self-defense and i think if you train on the wooden dummy speed bag um we do some rope work, you know, for the head movement. I don't do no, only one drill I do not do for fighting is jumping rope. I mean, I've tried jumping rope so many times 
and my feet will not let me do it. And so what I do, I would, for like certain activities, if I need to be light on my feet, I would shadow box and then I'll either do treadmill and then I'll do like an exercise bike and stuff like that, you know, and get a good cardio leg work. Um, or I might do jumping jacks, squats, lunges for legs, or even something like um, calf raises, and like for shoulders and chest and back, I would do push-ups, dips, um, shoulder, shoulder, uh, arm circles, holding your arms out, all the way out, and just doing little bitty tiny circles, that works with shoulders, and everything else. And, um, and that's the thing, and most people with tendency to just work on techniques. They don't do the conditioning part. And to me, you know, you're not really a fighter if you just work on techniques all the time. And um, in martial arts, you gotta work on strength too. And that's the thing, if you wanna be stronger in your techniques, you gotta work on conditioning as well. So that's, re and that's the reason why heavy bag is the best way to trained to reduce the stress you know whatever is on your mind yeah it might not solve the problem on what you had right then and there but it'll get you out of that mood to be in a better positive outcome on things and you would ask yourself why did I get in that mood and you turn around and get out of that stage where where you're um, basically just wondering why are you in that mood but when you are training it frees you from that mood you are in and that's how come I like to train because it takes me to a place where I can be away from world problems on the outside of the world I mean it brings me to peace it brings me to my self brings me to my mind being free and everything from the outside world and so when i work out i free myself from the outside problems and so that's what i do that's what i do in my workouts um i guess i could say i find i find zen and, and peace in, in when I train um, most people they train to fight and to me being a humble martial artist um, to me you train to do self-defense to, to find peace not war and but sometimes that's harder than said and done but even though martial art is for war it, even though it is for combat but a lot of times people always will try to pick a fight with you and sometimes you gotta learn to sustain your ground but um, when you use the self-defense you gotta be able to use it for self-defense only and a lot of people today don't realize that that they that they can't just go up to punch somebody or they can't just go up to you know hey challenge you to a fight you know anymore you know you can't do that you know there's laws you gotta follow and everything else and and that's the thing and you know you could train on your techniques you know if you want to you know train with a partner and you want to leave some leak get some aggression out get some boxing gloves you know if you if you feel like you're being pissed off at him or you know you're getting one you get an argument get some boxing gloves hey i want to i want to box you and i said i don't want to really use my fist on it but i want to box you and tell them to put on gloves if you have to but don't really go all out but make it where it's a friendly match not like a a death match and but the thing it is back to my video this is just a 22 minute workout um if you can't do all of it just do about half of what I do in the video and then do what else you got to work on too and then work your way up to whatever I do so 
heavy bag is very 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 useful in martial arts training and I said that's the reason why I like hitting the heavy bag I started out in boxing when I was 15 I mean, not 15 but nine years old and then um, I went into boxing for a while and then I went into Tai Chi Kung Fu um, on my own and then um, I also did karate um, American Taekwondo Association got up the black belt in that system of their karate and then because um, my instructor at the time when I was doing Taekwondo from the first school I went to in martial arts um, he taught me old school karate in that school then I went to the ITF Taekwondo school they taught me Taekwondo which um, it was more of like a hard knock Korean style old school way. and they kicked some ass in that school and I learned a lot from them and a lot of those techniques you see is from that school so whatever I learned from boxing Tai Chi to karate to taekwondo to wing chun and um well after i quit the taekwondo school i went to wing chun for a mat a month course for free and then um i had to move so i keep up with the basics with wing chun as well and then um i even i even in i i'm even uh took a master course in Krav Maga, but I used to have a certificate for it, but since I moved, I lost the certificate. Um, so I can't really prove it that I actually took the class. Um, but other than that, I mean, out of all the martial arts that I've studied over the years, and I even did um, um, freestyle fighting with a friend. Um, he was he was getting into foul toto fighting, and he wanted me to train um, with him. So I trained with him. I was his sparring partner, I and mean, I got him really really good with that way of fighting, and it taught me a lot about fighting. And I mean. You know, switching from traditional martial arts to kind of like Jeet Kune Do to Kenpo to Taekwondo to the MMA way, you know, it's just hard to figure out. Sometimes most people, they'll go from one style to another and they don't know which one is their true style until they get up into their older years. Me, my true style is boxing and, and karate. I say that's all I can really learn, but I know a lot of other arts, but it's just those two styles are the ones I go by at all times. And, um, but yes, are all the other tools useful that I know? Yes, they are, because, you know, no matter what, Wing Chun teaches you how to hit to the center line. Where uh, Krav Maga teaches you to learn how to survive on the streets. Um, where um, Budo Weapon Arts from the Samurai Arts teaches you how to, be with, to, how to deal with honor and respect for the old way. And um, Wing Chun and Tai Chi is about the center line and breathing and trying to stay relaxed in a fight. It does do the Kung Fu. And um, another one is doing karate and boxing. Well, karate and boxing. Boxing, they teach you how to punch and head movement and footwork. Where boxing and where karate, I mean, it teaches you about 
all ways of striking. Most people say it just teaches you the way of the fist. Well, it teaches you knife hand strides, palm strides, rich hands, elbows, knees, front kicks, um, throwing techniques, foot sweeps, leg kicks, you name it, you have it. That's old school karate way. And even hair pulling that way. And, um, not now. That's dirty karate fighting. And I said, my instructor taught me that when, when I first started doing old school karate. And... Those two, boxing and karate, are my two main arts I study today. And, but that's the reason why I kind of like call my system the Jeet Kune Kwan method. Because I'm trying to get my style out there. Um, even though it's not really out there yet, but it is on YouTube, so it's kind of somewhat getting out there. But, you know, probably a lot of people probably think, oh, he's a fraud, he don't know what he's talking about. You know, I do know what I'm talking about. And, um, I'm just going to say this, I train in the traditional arts, the ancient ways, and even some of the newer ways, too. I'm just not really accustomed to the new way, the new way, the newer ways, I'm more of the old traditional ways. But when I do train in the new ways of training, I it takes time to get used to. But you know that's all part about learning and growing. You know you gotta get used to the things that you're not used to. Because if you don't get used to the things that you're not used to, then you'll never grow as a person. So that's another reason why I respect martial arts and everything else and plus it's a great way to work out this is a good heavy back workout um just try to follow along if you can if you can't um if you don't know what you're doing there are other videos that show you what i'm doing and they'll teach it to you on how to do it and just come back to my video after you master those techniques off of another video to learn it then come back to my video and try to do my workout and see if it is actually beneficial for you or not and if it is leave it leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this workout and please hit the like hit the subscribe this is my style of Kim Kwan and like I said I kind of do like the kickboxing dirty fighting way of training um, but it is a good workout just try it out let me know and I'll see you in the next video Please hit the like, hit subscribe. I am Seth Marshall Art Fitness, and I'll see you in the next video. All you gotta do is stay focused, train hard, train smart, and be safe, do your research. And no, you don't have to go to a dojo to train in martial arts. You can learn on online and stuff like that. But training with the dojo, training in the dojo, it does have its, have its benefits, but you can also learn more online on doing things too for free if you don't have the money to join um, a dojo. So if you want to get lessons from me, whatever, um, or if you want to donate, um, just hit me up on Instagram, on the floor. Um, that's my Instagram, just hit me up. And if you want to donate to me, that's fine. Um, I could use the help, maybe buy new training equipment or help me, you know, get back and forth to work for gas or something like that, you know, that would help. Now I, I can keep making my videos. Um, where where we contribute, I mean, that would be a blessing to me. Um, but if you want to send me money, just go ahead to go to my Instagram, go to Texas Donald 4, um, and just share my videos, share my uh, motivation. But it's just... You know, just be, be you, be who you are, what you're about, and I'm not trying to ask for money, but if you can donate, you know, that's a blessing, because I'm going through hard times right now, it is, um, but other than that, trying to stay positive, stay, stay healthy, and this is my third week without drinking, and I'm feeling pretty good right about now. And I have not had a beer ever since then. Um, but other than that, um, train hard, train smart. And I'm going to say I'm just trying to stay focused in my training, do what I'm doing. 
and you know, trying to stay positive and find peace. And that's what I want people to do, is find peace with themselves. God bless and have a beautiful day.